Mr. Hakuru, just before the break, we were talking, uh, discussing these uh, riots, Kurdish riots spreading across uh, Turkey. And if there is one consistent feature that we have seen in the Syrian war, is it is the boomerang effect. I mean, I, I think Americans have experienced it already. I wonder if the Turks have it on their way, because, um, you know, for the last three years, the Erdogan government has been extremely moralistic about the violence in Syria. He essentially preached the responsibility to protect. Uh, doctrine, and yet when uh, the massacre is taking place right across uh, the border, uh, he's much less vocal about the need to intervene. I wonder if the Kurds could interpret that um, as essentially uh, the willingness of the Erdogan government to intervene on everybody's behalf but the, but the Kurds, because, I mean, there there is a very long history of spilled blood between the two communities. Uh, could that be even exacerbated by, by the Kobani events? The Turkish political leadership, in particular, uh, Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, has been laser-focused on, uh, on a regime change in uh, Syria, in particular removing the, the Assad leadership in uh, Damascus. And Turkey's policy has been, has been uh, fo focused and totally concentrated on trying to achieve that uh, objective. What we're seeing now in unfolding in Kobani is that, uh, firstly, the, from, the Tur from the Turkish government's perspective, they fear that if they, were to, if they were to help the Syrian Kurdish fighters who are perceived as closely affiliated to the PKK or the Kurdistan Workers' Party, which has been engaging in a conflict with the Turkish state for the last 30 years, mm -hmm. then the, it may feed uh, Kurdish nationalism and may uh, threaten the territorial integrity and unity of uh, uh, Turkey. So mm -hmm. we've seen reticence on that, uh, on, on the part mm -hmm. of Turkey not to intervene. Mm -hmm. At the same time, also, Turkey feels that the, that the campaign should be focused on, Bash on the Assad leadership rather than on IS and uh, on Kobani.